Before we start today's video, I want to share with you two more picks from Dossier. This is the brand I've been sharing with you for the past year or more, and they are an awesome brand that takes well-known and popular fragrances and recreates them for a more realistic price. I'm also sharing these specifically today because I know some of you, you need gift ideas. It's gift time, and I know some of you out there, like me, have no idea what to get loved ones this year, and I'm here to help you today with these two solid picks. The first one we got is the Citrus Green Apple, which is inspired by the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue EDT. The second one we have is the Floral Violet, which is inspired by the Marc Jacobs Daisy EDT. And honestly, it's hard to choose which one I would recommend more. They both look awesome. They're both excellent gifts for this year's holiday season. And once again, they come ready to go in a very nice and elegant box, ready to be wrapped or put in a stocking. I would highly suggest you check out Dossier. There is a link right in the description there. And at the very least, head over there and just check out what they got. They have awesome prices going on all year round, but they have specifically some really cool stuff going on right now for Black Friday. So I highly encourage you to check them out. Pick up something awesome for yourself or a loved one this holiday season. Now though, on to today's episode. So today we've got a very special new release to check out, the all new Bloomon Coastal Texture Spray. And for those that might not know, I'm sure all of you probably do by now, but just in case, if you don't already know, this is not only a new line item for the Blue Mon lineup, but it was made by my good friend Steve Lockhart of Lockhart's Authentics. So we've got some new exciting stuff here, and I've got all the info on it. I've given it a full test. I'm ready to give you a full review and demo. So, as usual, let's throw five minutes on the clock. Here we go. According to the brand, the all new Blue Mon Coastal Texture Spray is a handmade sea salt texture spray that adds texture and movement to the hair with a natural to matte finish. They also say this provides fullness to the hair and great beach like texture, all without drying your hair out due to some good nourishing ingredients. Price wise, it does come in at $19.50 for six ounces before my channel discount. Moving over to the scent now. Now, this one is very different for Blue Mon. It's, it's it's very fresh, you know, it's not it's not fully like a cologne, I would say, but it's it's very different for them. But I got to tell you, this has Lockhart's all over it. I mean, this this is like essential Lockhart's fragrancing for me. It's got this almost spicy note to it while also being fresh. You know, it's not a cologne, I wouldn't say, but it's very fresh, very nice. And I think it was a good solid choice on both Blumon and the Lockhart's team for the scent. Great job on that, in my opinion. Inside the bottle on this one, there's not much to really say. It's a liquid. You know, there's nothing much to share on that front. It does go through an atomizer up here on the top. As usual, you know, it's a, it's a sprayer and it does come out in a nice fine mist. So, and really, that's all there is to say on that. Moving straight into the styling test now, though, I am going to follow the direction from Bloomon on how to use this. And of course, I've got nothing else in my hair. After shaking the bottle, I'm applying three to five sprays around my head and making sure to get it all worked in, you know, completely into the roots and all that usual stuff. I'm then going to finish things off with a blow dryer and use that heat to really activate the product. And once that's all done, this is the result that I got here. And what I see is some light texture, nice control. You got a little visible hold that you can also feel when you run your hands through. It's got some, you know, light density in there. And I I do also think it's got some decent volume. The only pitfall for me, honestly, here is the fact that it's very loose. You know, the foundation needs a little help, even with that spray added in there, which is 100% my hair type. I mean, that's that's 100% just what I'm working with here compared to the hair types that I think this was designed for, which is also why Blue Mon recommends using a post styler or actually more spray in your final styling steps. They do say for additional hold or control, you can apply a post styler of your choice, which I'm gonna real quick show you using the Monarch Matte Paste. And this seems to work really well alongside it. It does seem to in kind of enhance each other, you know, work really well well together nicely. So I would definitely keep that in mind if you're already a Monarch Matte Paste user. It does seem to work really well with this spray. Now for a loose or messier look without using something like the Monarch as a post style, they do recommend that you apply a few more sprays to your dried hair, which I can show you what happens when you do that right here. This is the result after adding in a couple more sprays to my already dried hair. We can see there's not too much of a difference for me, honestly. It's, it's put together fairly similarly to what it was before. But all that being said, what do I think of this new spray? And before I answer that, 
I'm gonna stop that question. Before I answer that, I'm assuming a lot of you want to know how it compares to the Lockhart's Texture Tonic, especially since it's made by the same team. And as I always say, there are some fair comparisons. I don't hate all comparisons. I hate comparisons that don't make sense. And this is one that absolutely makes sense. And I think it's a fair question to ask. And for, in my mind, you know, in my opinion, I think the short answer for me is, first off, they are not copies of each other. They do have different ingredient lists between the two. There's no question in that regard, but performance wise the short answer in my opinion I think with between the two is I think there is more visible texture in the coastal spray and more hold in the Blue Lagoon. That being said though too, I'm not gonna sit here and make some claim that they are so different from each other because in using them, they do have a very similar feeling. But where I see the small differences is in the texture on one side and the hold on the other. Looking specifically at the Coastal Spray because that's what this review is over, I'm really glad to see that Bluemon made the choice to work with someone that really knew what they were doing and knew how to make a spray like this that actually had results. That being said, I think this spray will benefit more so exactly what the brand says thin or fine haired folks i think for sure you guys with that hair type will get more results than somebody with say my hair type you know because it was really made to demonstrate results in that arena for people with fine and thin hair for me it was fine i'm not knocking it i'm not you know saying it's it didn't work i'm going to be honest though because that's how i always do these reviews if i see it i say it and for me this was a nice just middle ground spray you know there are ones that are definitely way worse way worse that don't produce any type of result with my hair type and then i've tried a couple that are better for my hair type you know as in regards to sea salt sprays you know so this one was a perfect middle ground product for me keep in mind though that any results that i get will likely be amplified much higher if you have a different hair type than i do which a lot of you do so that's why i always say this is just my experience and the final verdict is up to you and if you would like to check out the all new coastal texture spray from bloom on a link in the description along with a coupon code it's just my name use my name mike in the coupon box there we'll save you a little bit of money all of that is in the description for you if you're interested i would highly encourage you also to keep a look at the site because this week is black friday this week is Black Friday. The following Monday is Cyber Monday. Lots of sales going on everywhere, Bloomon included. You might be able to get yourself some stuff at an even better discount. So keep an eye on all that and check out the site. That though is it for this review. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section and by smashing that like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, you absolutely need to do that. I really appreciate it. Just go ahead and hit that button for me. It takes two seconds. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section too. I always love hearing from you guys. So thank you so much for checking this out. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.